Last night, uh, the leaders of Australia, Canada and New Zealand issued a statement um, uh, warning Israel against any offensive in, uh, in Rafah, uh, saying it could be devastating and catastrophic. Um, these are some of the closest US allies and part of the, part of the Five Eyes group, obviously. Um, can you tell us why the United States um, thinks differently to them and still feels that um, it's possible that Israel can offer a, a, a you know, that, that may be able to offer a credible plan uh, for an offensive that can protect civilians? I, I don't see a whole heck of a lot of gap between what, what they've what they've been saying and what we've been saying. I mean, um, uh, I can't speak for them. I can just tell you that we continue to believe that under the current circumstances, without a credible plan, as the president said, to account for the more than million. Palestinians that are down in Rafah, make sure that they have a, a place where they can be safe and secure and out of harm's way. Without that credible plan, uh, a, a, a major operation in Rafah would be a disaster. We, 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 we agree with that. Uh, and we're continuing to talk to our Israeli counterparts about what that plan might look like. Okay. Including a very large U.S. shipment could actually be delivered. It would feed something like 1.4 million Gazans over six months. What yeah. is the status of that? And what can you do to ensure that those shipments get in? I, I wish I could tell you that that flower is moving in, but I can't do that right now. And all I can tell you is that it's absolutely critical um, as a staple for the Palestinian people. And we're going to keep working uh, with our Israeli counterparts to see if we can get that port open to that flower. It's, it's absolutely vital. They committed to allowing it in. We want to make sure that happens. Thank <laughs> you. 